Hello everyone and welcome back to Naval Action and all through the rank series. Full disclosure, this intro is uh, a post battle recording, uh, simply due to uh, recording times and stuff like that. Uh, first up, I'd like to say uh, if you hear a bit of uh, <laughs> winning and coughing in the background, I do have my kit home uh, uh, from school, both with the flu today. So there might be a few instances where I as now bash the mic and you might hear a cough or two but it shouldn't be too much anyway we are in our indefatigable uh, from the last episode uh, it's a, a teak frame Bermuda cedar planking build I've put a, a navy structure and navy planking on it just to increase our planking by 10% or not 10% by 10 and just to piss off uh, CHX I've put long guns on it uh, got 12, 18, 12 pounders, 26, 24 pounders, nine, uh, two nine pounders uh, on the bound, and some carrots on the stand. Um, reason for this being, I want to change up the gameplay a bit. Uh, we've been doing mid range and close range fightings with carronades and guns and stuff like that. And for this, I uh, wanted to change up the gameplay, play a bit more at range, see if we can get our Thick is high enough to actually bound some of the shots and play to our range. Doesn't go completely as planned during the video, but it is a positive outcome. Also, I spent more or less two hours looking around, uh, one hour yesterday and an hour today, looking around to find a solo Varpen, and I didn't manage to find one. So, in this video, we're going to be taking out our uh, Bermuda frame uh, or teak frame Bermuda cedar seasoned um, indefatigable um, fighting a Varpen plus one in this fight. And it's definitely going to end on a nail biter. I'm not going to spoil the result, but it's definitely a nail biter in the end. So, hope you enjoyed the content and uh, let's roll the show. All right, um, we've been searching around for about an hour now, and I've not been able to find any solos. Um, so we'll be uh, taking on this guy. It's a plus one, so I'm not sure what he'll be bringing in. It could be a Varp, and it could be a um, Ingerman and, and whatnot. So we'll we'll see and uh, take it from there. We're just going to pull him a bit more away from the shore before we engage. Here should be fine. We're going to cut across his path here and um, tack him up once he gets near. Uh, initial plan is to uh, chain one of them down that's not a Varpen and then attack the uh, the other uh, or maybe the other way around. Slow oh, he's moving. All tags engaged. One, two, two, four, two, one, two. Battle zone, let's see. Oh, we're pretty lucky here because it's double Varpens. So we can just hammer one down and then get back into it and take on the other one. So either way, what we do uh, won't matter as much or whichever target we prefer. Um. Just gonna get, get some sails up. A bit of incoming fire. Luckily, it's high. Uh, probably gonna turn. Taking a bit of damage already. Uh, we'll manage. Level out. See if we can get a. Uh, Bow rig in here on the first one. Uh, looks like he's going to turn into engage again. I just want to get one good chain shot in on one of them and then we can deal with the other one later. It's going to be that guy. Bad chain. To say the least, two master hits. All right. However, they are 
are something to close up here. That, that might work in our favour. Shoot across them both. I'm having no luck with this, really. Turn away. Give me stones as we do. I'm not too concerned with that one guy maybe getting in a few stone rakes on us, but I do want to increase the distance here. have to push the first initial repair pretty soon. Right, depower. Do you reduce our heal? A little low and a little too much forward, but we still manage. Let's see if we get him behind him. Start loading double on the uh, broadside. Pump us out, and we are in a uh, position where we actually need a uh, initial repair pretty soon. Enough elevation to actually do any damage here. No. No. Too low. All right. Doubles loaded on one side. So we're gonna remove the crew from that one and initiate a repair. That guy should be falling behind Bernard Bennett and that other guy should be in a position where he has to maneuver to engage. That going to be at an angle so he's going to bounce or miss. He just did. What are you turning to? Get back here. All right, this may just give us what we need for a bit of stern raking. No, other turn. I definitely don't have the feel for this ship yet. Five and four, get the rudder back up. Now we do have repair perks on, but we don't have any knowledge books unlocked on this ship, so we won't get as much out of our repairs as uh, if this would been my regular solo gameplay. It's always like that when you start out with a new ship of any kind. You don't have any knowledge locks on it, so you're relying on your perks, and uh, really all you have to do is pick your fights early on. 
get to know the ship and uh, make the best of it honestly so he's caught an iron so we're gonna slow down maybe it's a, able to get the stone rig in on him we are loading double so we're reloading slower mm, decent hits put back up our speed the enemy doesn't really sail that well upwind so We'll try and make that work in our favour. Damage incoming. Alright, that's the first circle of repairs. Not the effect I had hoped for, but... It's what it is. Increase our speed. Bennett is coming up at an angle trying to get a few shots in. I think we dodged those. It's going to be interesting to see whether the AI is going to try and stick together or we can actually manage to pull them apart and also we don't want to get too far in because somewhere around that port there should be a few forts around or, or towers at least tower there tower there and there's a square fort on the opposite side there there should be another square fort around here yeah there it is Run us out again. Well, that guy's down to 92, that one's 98, so. So we're just going to try and come around. Actually, two and two. Have them reload chains on the side. For a bit, doing just exactly what I said I wouldn't do, going close to shore. But we need the wind to shift a bit to work for us again. What I want to do is see if I can range change Bernard Bennett a bit. Are we almost out of chains? Oh yes, we are. Well, never mind then. seven minutes until we can repair again as long as we can keep them at a certain distance uh, we have that advantage where we may be at an angle where we can shoot at them but they cannot shoot at us without losing too much speed and therefore they're going to keep the chase up bit of an angle what we're painting. And when they get too close, you want to get some speed up and some range again. Maybe even turn the tag here or turn your direction. I did want to save my uh, doubles for when closed, but kind of at a time crunch. Bit of a bad angle. We took more damage than we gave. There we 
Incoming. Range is good, angle's a bit off. See, that's a lot of bounces in there. 15 penetrations, so it's all good. Swing back out as we reload. We're in this position now where one is sufficiently slow that we'll outrun him no issue and generally we should be able to outrun a, uh, a Varpen in an indefatigable. So as long as we can keep like this with the wind we can always outrun them and simply disengage if we find ourselves in the position where it becomes untenable. But so far we're good, we've still got nine cycles of repair left. And um, he should be able to uh, slowly wear them down. That's the hope, anyway. Reload my stones, might as well. Caught an irons and from the stern. No hits. Angle just a bit too high. Regain some speed, they're getting too close. So got penetration and all that's up. He's turning, he's gonna try and get broadside in. Not gonna manage. Didn't get quick enough on the counter turn. I should have started turning as soon as those last shots rang out. Um, I got too caught up like, trying to look at him. Was he, what was he doing? Caused a bit of damage. 1 minute 30. Again. Not turning. Mm, not quick enough. Not quick enough. Still taking incoming fire and we're too close to bounce it. 40 seconds for a repair. Just turn and give him the stones. Short 
Just one hit. Could have been a bit higher. Ten seconds. Overturned. Well, for now it definitely feels like this is going to be a long one. That guy is reduced down to slow for some reason. And he's gone full stop. All right, we're gonna take advantage of that and just keep pulling ahead while we repair and pull uh, the, uh, the ship going full speed with us. as much effect we can on the repair as long as the other one slowed down all right he's back up to half speed as you go through the game and you get more comfortable in it you'll start to learn um, the effect of the the different sail settings and stuff like that so you can read their maneuvers a bit easier all right we'll reload it almost done with the repair so let's see if we can get in broadside again we're coming in at a very hard angle to him here start to counter turn already just the angle of the shots and I should have shot from the bow instead of the stern all right we managed to make some damage to him make some damage, do some damage to him without him actually being able to fire back. Now running with the wind as we are now is one tactic and there's those that have perfected the tactic of running up against the wind so where you're basically sailing upwind um, using your advantage to be able to sail closer to the wind than the AI usually can uh, and that's all down to a matter of place I am preferences both tactics are viable right now with the wind in my back uh, or at quarter I know I can outrun them should the need arise Try once more. Start counter turning. Use the yards. There we go. And we did another good one where we managed to turn in, fire and turn away before he could uh, get us into his firing arc. And he knows you cannot turn out too far to port because that will simply lose too much range on us. But right now, it's working in our favour. Let's see if we can pull it off a few more times. We are doing damage to him. Ok, 
go. Reload it. I turned a bit early. Did manage to damage his magazine though. And did a significant amount of damage, so it's all good. We did miss a few shots, but rather that than taking uh, incoming fire. Alright, let's see if we can open the gap a bit more. We are getting more or less in line right now, so it's going to make it harder for us to turn. Single hit with the dispersion, or do it's gonna angle a bit out of the line that he's in, should make it a bit more easy for us to actually turn and get shot in. We'll reload it. The more a line of stern they are of you, the harder you have to turn to get the shot in. And the more room for maneuver they actually have, but it also makes it harder for them to turn in to get you into their firing arc. So, fire away. No. That was way too soon. I started count, uh, turning back online uh, way sooner than I should, which resulted in most of the shots just going in front of him. But again, we have time on our side, sort of. We've just spent 24 minutes almost, and um, we're doing damage to him. He's not doing damage to us, so... In that sense, we do have time on our side. If we keep it up, we should be able to sink the lead ship and at the same time repair back up so we're at full strength to engage, engage the other one. That's the plan, that's the idea. Let's see how it plays out. It's turning. That shot's wrong out. There we go. Almost fully reloaded. Are the other ones starting to move out on an angle? Nineteen hits. Three and a half minutes to the next repair. And we're just ever so slowly picking him apart by doing this. Let's just hope we're not sinking the better of the two ships. But with my luck we probably are. Alright, he's not turning yet. He's turning. Fire. Uh, turned a bit soon. Now 
Now notice I'm using my arm to turn out again of the firing art. I'm using my forward uh, uh, yard arms to uh, turn us back into the uh, main line here. Now if, if this is our main line at, of heading like, what is it, to uh, 260 more or less. Uh, and when I come off the uh, line to fire, I want to get back to that line as quick as I can. Because that's going to keep me out of his firing arc. Two minutes. Pairs, reload it, got back in, oh, not on that one. I'm not quite as far of ra uh, at range as I wanted to actually be, but uh, that was a bad shot. Bad shot and a bad turn, I oh, just made it. Every time you do this turn in, you lose speed and range to them. So at some point we do need to just pull away for a bit to regain that range. One minute. More effective start the turn just before the reload comes up. That guy's moving out to the flank now. Means he may be able to long range fire at us soon. He's turning. Once again, start the turn too early. Got any coming fire from the range. It's going to shoot behind us. I'm just going to change the angle up a bit here. But I don't want to change it so much that he, we have to start engaging him on the other side. Uh, and give him a chance to like turn counter. And engage us on the opposite side. I know it's our weaker side, but it's also his weaker side. So it's going to be shorter to bring him down, uh, shooting into that side. Oops. Wrong firing arc. Slow down. better now taking out his magazine um, means he's gonna have a hard time reloading and uh, it also increases the fire chance oh not the fire chance but explosion chance should he have been on fire sadly he's not all right 30 minutes passed and uh, still got some work to do on that lead ship but we'll get there we're reloaded Oop, that's where I want it Go, a bit more damage. Give him the stands for a change, should we? One hit, a bit high, went into the sails. Alright, pairs are coming back nicely. Not 
Let's reload it. Let's turn in. Almost down one side and just around 65% structure. We're getting there. If this was the point with just one solo, this was the time we would start looking at how do we engage in a boarding. Because his side arm is down, we can start taking out his crew with grape shot and stuff like that. But we do have that follow ship to you can turn with too. And that's why uh, we're not getting close to this guy now. All right, reload it. Level back out. All the shots wrung out. All right, go below sixty percent structure. About 55, 50. A few more broadsides should bring him down. I can run away a bit and engage the other one. Repairs 7 minutes 40 seconds. A few shots coming into the stern here. Gonna start repairing my crew as well. Get the back up over 400. Uh, so when we get to actually engaging on Bernard Bennett, we're at maximum crew, and maybe even closer to uh, using second round of rum if needed. Got hits. Almost all connected. 45% stretcher left. Few more broadsides in, should do them. And I know this is going to be a long run video. Um, just this, what it is when we're fighting two and two, or oh, two, two versus one here. But I think it'll be good to actually show you that you can do these. Uh, plus one fleets to with the ship you're currently in just takes a bit of change to your playstyle and oh he's gonna try and turn isn't he oh, there we go Didn't do that much damage to him, so we'll probably need two more rounds of fire to get him sinking, but we can keep at this attack, which should be good. Whatever incoming fire there is, we'll miss or bounce. Five minutes twenty. Let's reload it. Ranging. Should we get the elevation more or less right. Pumps down so we'll take on water now. Allow 
allow myself to slow it down so you can get a chance to catch up a bit. Turn in, get one good broadside in on him now, we should have him. If we can get him to turn into the actually engages. We'll see, is he turning? He is a bit higher. Yes. He's around or just over twenty percent we can keep on this tank. He seems to be slowed to stop. Going to allow myself to slow down here. I want to make sure I just get a bit more damage to his structure. But he should be below 20%. I can't see the line. But sometimes they're just on the tip of it. Or just on that exact 20% line. So they're not going down as fast. But it does look like he's completely stopped and take on water. Now he's down for sure. Fire incoming from Bennett. This guy bounds. We're going to turn and present our stronger side to Bennett. Start working on him. So that's one down. Which was actually the uh, lead ship of the fleet. Two and a half minutes. We're going to try and keep the tactic up with uh, Bernard Bennett to reduce one side and before we get into uh, the close range fighting where we actually want to do uh, do crew damage as well. Alright, switching broadsides. It's not moving as fast as the other one due to the damage done to Anomalia. We should be able to harass him at range. All right, should turn a bit more for that one. But we are on the side where we're already damaged off him, so we can keep that up. We are good. Gonna allow myself to keep on this tag for now. So our crew is back up, our uh, side facing the enemy is our starboard side, which is fully repaired. And um, we're at good speed, so. So far, feeling good about this. Let that one go. Yeah, he's taking on water. Right, reload it, turn in. Waited too long for that one, so took his fire as well. We should reload faster than him, so just gonna stay at this tack for now. Actually, let's turn out a bit, so we get a bit away from the wind. without him actually turning in behind us. Don't want him to do that. Say hello to my carronades. While well, he turned, I simply got too much in front of him and gave him the option to turn in behind me. Um, all right, it's what it is. Guess well, we'll have to play on the other side then. Not ideal, but with the damage we just took on that uh, other side, we are pretty effed anyway. Um, side arm was pretty even. Uh, 
We'll see. He's turning back the other way around again. He's trying to kite behind us to do repeated stern ranks on us now. Um, shot with these sterns. Missed all. Alright, that goes the first one. One down. That releases us with 48 minutes to finish off this guy. He's going to try and close the range. Might be a bit high. Yeah. Right now, range is our friend. Doing another round of repair. Uh, how much we got left? 48, we got plenty. After this one, we'll still have five rounds of repair left, five or six. And our cooldown on the crew is still 15 minutes, so we'll probably won't make another one there. But we're almost even on crew. If we're broadside, should see us even. Stop turning in. Turn back out. Now the issue comes when we need to get close with um, uh, grape shot. That's a word I was looking for. <laughs> but when we need to get close with grape shot. Because um, that's going to put us in a position where we're going to receive damage as well. We can't really do much. Unless we start stern raking him repeatedly. Um, but we'll see. First we have to take that in the side anyway. Sorry for bashing the mic. Reload it. As I said in the beginning, you may hear a cough or two in the background. I have both kids home with me. Uh, a slight flu. Currently busy uh, watching cartoons. We got too close in the wind there, and that's going to mean he's going to be able to turn in behind us and try and get shot off. Let's see if he fires a bit prematurely. He does. Once again, he's on the opposite side of us now. So we're his strong side to our strong side. Let's see if we can change that. Switch the bot side over. Now we want to run in behind him and when you do that you don't want to run straight at the target or straightly behind him. You want to aim it so with his speed coming across your bow you're still at an angle that you can bounce a few of the shots that's going to be coming your way and so that you'll end up behind him perfectly. This one should do as well uh, unless he slows down, uh, down as he is. We can slow down too. Should just pass it behind him. Let's 
start reloading. So we can come back around him. So get back on that damaged side or the side that's mostly damaged. But if not, one more brawl type should see both sides even and we'll play at that then. Right now he's copping the wind. Taking a bit of damage here. If you can get a reload in. I'll probably be able to reduce that side down as well. Almost there, almost there. Just gonna slow down using my yard arms. Oh, sorry, small as even. Let's see which way he tags. Okay, go down the battle seats for a bit. Slow down some more. Gonna reload once here, fire, and then turn. Take out a bit of damage, it's all good. Reload it. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shots ring out. And turn. Let's come around and play this in the wind again. Unloaded on the stern, should have done that earlier. Fire. He bounced and missed. the other side and he's pretty hammered on both sides we could start to close with him to work on the great shot we only got a 20 man crew advantage currently so any boarding will be more or less even uh, except for the fact that we'll be able to manually control our guns I uh, got range so Can keep this range for now, actually. Ranging shot. Broadside going in. And go another. And then change the creature, but then it's time to go in. Some bounces, that's good. Bounced, bounce, bounce, bounce. You can hear the difference of the bounce is more like a bump, where the uh, the one that actually penetrates, you hear the splinters and the cracking of the wood. Bit far forward, bit up. One more, one more, one more round of taking a bit of fire on that side. Ah, oh, he's close in now. All right. We'll take the chance and close in with him and give him a round of uh, ball shot, and then 
switch to grapes that we get close. We completely reduce the sidearm is going to make our grapes a bit more effective. Choice need to flatten out a bit. Ow. Issue now is that we have to close with him up the wind here. He's gonna switch sides on us, bastard. I kind of foresaw that. That's why I changed the uh, other guns back to Borlam, so that we could. Gonna take the fire here. I just want to get a good shot in on him. For no real effect, apparently. Um. But that's why I changed the um, Starbuck guns back to uh, Borlam. I had an idea he might be coming in like that. And uh, then we would be playing that game where we once again have to reduce one side of armor. However, he has now turned in a position where we can engage that weaker side but now we've got ball ammo loaded rudder is damaged alright repair up uh, bow I'm just going to create a bit of range and there that's kind of counter what I just said I wanted to because we want to close and use grapes. I want to change the wind on the engagement here. My idea is if I come out a bit further and start turning around, he's going to try to close with us, and that may give us a chance to get behind him and back on the opposite side. Or if not, then at least we'll be at range when we use ball arm to to wreck him on that stronger side. Do you have to be mindful now? We are. He's just at what forty-five percent central structure left, so he can't take that much more damage before he starts going down. Pump and magazines out. Looks like we're going to cut in across the front of him. And if not, we got our stronger side towards his, also stronger side, but in a position to reduce his before he reduces ours. Oh, he's going full sail as a bastard. Too much effect on that repair, if you like. Alright, he's really hurt now. He's gonna try and come in behind us, that's fair enough. Actually plays into my idea. Get 
get back onto that wound design. I don't want to hit him with ball that much more. Because it's just going to increase the risk of us sinking him instead of capturing him. Uh, stern damage. Uh, grape doesn't do that much at this range, but that's fire and reload. Actually, 20. Hmm. Usually I have no luck fire and grape at that range. But a reduction of 20 at this point is rather significant. We do have a uh, 65 man advantage right now. More or less, 64. Oh, we had a 64. 62 now. Gonna come in close. Come back down to battle sails and start preparing for a boarding. Slowly push him around. Let's reload it. If he keeps this up, he's going to push himself around into the wind. That's going to slow us both down. You all know that means boarding time. All right, we're pulling him in. And in a fair position to fire all sides. Now, for once, I'm going to try and remember that he's going to fire deck guns first. I'm not going to charge in on the first one. Morale's higher, preparation's higher. He's got more muskets and marines than us, so that's a consideration. That's grenades. Watching the firepower. Should be deck guns, but we went for a brace. All right, so we went for an attack. That was a good call. Brace, fire, grape. Not much effect on the grape, though. His firepower is coming up. He's doing cannons or grenades. Grenades again. 19, that hurt. much effect with those grape shots. I'm not sure why. It must be the angle. You take grenades again. Oh, I'm perhaps not high enough for the last second attack, is it? No. Grenades. Oh, he did musket volley, the bastard. We're actually kind of losing this one. If we lose this boarding on the account of 
after having done all that, I'm gonna be so pissed. Grenades. Those marines are absolutely wrecking us. All right, attack. Eighteen twelve. She's melee damage. She's just absurd. You can do what you have done from the beginning. Should have put on our rum and repairs. He's doing firepower. Do grenades. Crew is coming back up. Raise once more. I am just wondering where we want to disengage and reset the fight here. No. We're committed. Raise a fire grenade at us again. His grenades are pretty effective compared to mine, though. This new... Uh, the changes to boarding is definitely throwing me off here. My morale is absolutely shot. And see if his firepower goes up. If not, we're going to do an attack last second. It is. Got the brace. The grenades. Wow. We are getting so hammered again. Alright, boys, push in. Still ahead of numbers, but morale is definitely dropping, and he's got way more preparation than us. Brace, please. I'm on the edge of my seat here. Got 50 man advantage, less morale than him. We're still reducing whatever damage he's doing to us. Thank you to us using rum right now, but that's gonna wear off pretty soon. Alright, uh, his firepower's down. Grenade him. No real effect. Jesus. Uh, sorry for the profanity, but I am kind of stunned here. Um, should have waited, should have done a round of repair or attack instead. Um, or maybe I should be using musket mauling instead. I'm not sure here. His firepower is coming up. The grenades, eight damage. Proliferation is up, and morale is down. Gonna do a last second attack. Back down to brace. Brace, 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 Robin. Firepower coming in. Our rum is starting to wear off. One more round of bracing. How much 
preparation does that one take? Ten. Wait, like ah, oh, didn't register. All right, watching his firepower. That's going up, so we're not going to do that. Took another heavy hit from his grenades. He's not used his deck guns yet. That's the odd thing here. Good attack in. Braze, 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 braze. <laughs> this is tense. Grenades and our rum has worn off, so we're taking damage, full damage every time now. I'm sad and annoyed that our grape shot doesn't have that much effect, but we are in an odd angle to use our guns. We don't have much choice just to brace for a few rounds, take whatever's coming our way. Uh, hopefully our morale will hold. Raise this round as well. Prepare to attack. Watching the firepower. Uh, firepower is going up. Got grenades. Fifty man advantage. Uh, how are we getting there? But it's definitely slow going. Make him waste the defend. Two rounds of brace. Counter grenades. Our morale is really, really, really on the tipping point there. Luckily, his isn't doing too good either. I'm kind of tempted to try and do a round of musketry, but then again, I'm not really too keen. All right, morale went up by one. His went down. Still a 50-man advantage. Raise, making ways to defend. really wondering whether we can actually sustain this for long morale dip by one by the grenades need this round of brace two just to be able to attack that last second so you can't change up there we go watching the firepower his preparations are always on top that's annoying Need one more round. All right, let's watch the firepower. See what he does. 
It's gonna go grenades. And we don't want to charge into grenades, that's for sure. Morale's down to seven, he's at 26. All right, 7.24. This is nerve-wracking. Absolutely nerve-wracking, honestly. We're down to a 40-man advantage. And we can't do anything with our crew uh, repairs or anything. Just have to play this right. Uh, Braze, there came the grenades. And six morale. 34 man advantage here. It's really complete annihilations of both crews here. Ah, just not enough to do that last second. The last second, not repair, but attack. There we go. On morale 6 is 22. I don't know why I keep firing. I'm still hoping to uh, hit something. Braze making ways to defend. 36 man advantage. Uh, his morale is dropping. So is ours. Oh, he counterattacked. I didn't see that. Oh, dear God. Uh, yeah, that'll be defend then. Attack. Yes. Good defend. Good defend. All defend again. Our melee is going to supersede his. Come on. I didn't see the counterattack. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, another good one. He overcommitted on this one. Yes. I didn't see that attack, uh, counter attack come in, but it's where he's at now, and we have to defend uh, uh, the um, advances in the defense. That's what I'm trying to say here. We're doing quite a lot of damage to him. Our morale's going up. He's going down. He's losing crew. Come on, come on, come on. Break him. Ah, uh, switch to grenades. All right, so you can play that game. It's gonna brace up for the next one. No. Musketry. All right, all right, all right. I know I've kept it on the fend. Uh, it's all good. Go and attack came in. <laughs> wow, that really changed things up. This boarding is absolutely brutal. I won't even more or less have enough crew to pull him back to port. Wow. Uh, we are at the moral side now. We got the upper hand for a bit. Um, sure, how much is going to matter for? I'm pushing an attack here. No, next round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Admin measures. I know what time it is. Please go away. Too busy dying here. Come on, come on, come on. Gonna defend. Wow, this is slow going. We'll 
probably we won't have any crew left to sail either ship after this. Alright. 40 mana advantage. It's not gonna counter attack now anyway. Alright, bashing the mic a bit, sorry for that. Braze fire powers up by one. Gonna attack in now. No, he's gonna do something with grenades. Yeah, just gonna wait. Come on, this is where we're breaking, boys. No! <laughs> Come on, it's almost a three to one advantage here. Uh, one more round. Gonna cycle through it again. Brace, 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 brace attack. Wow, what an absolute decimation. There's almost 700 casualties uh, combined. That's absolutely brutal, this boarding stuff now. Especially without any books or upgrades to actually give you an edge, uh, like grenades or stuff like that. Shh. Yeah, a little bit of screaming in the background. As I said, the kids are home. Come on, three, two, one, tag. No, still not yet. Oh. Raise. I am surprised how long this boarding has been going on. Uh, it's absolutely. Just need the preparation back up so we can do that final push uh, across to take him out. See, even his grenades aren't having an effect now. It's just a matter of attrition. Um, should have enough for it now. I'm pretty sure it's just five. Not that second. No. Is it 60 then? Anyway, here we go. I'm going to take him now. This is it. This is it. Come on. No! <laughs> How's he still fighting? Uh, right, I'll do it once more. Let's see if we can just push it through now. One for one. Morale is popping up. He's going down. Come on. Push it in there now. There's four of them left. I mean, we got a 10 to 1, actually 12 to 1 advantage. <sighs> wow. That was a tough fought fight. Uh, <laughs> really on the edge of my seat and sweaty palms here. Uh, fairly long video also, but let's see uh, what we actually get out of that. Wow, 47 crew left. Alright, brought pennant. You use that, put a repair, put a room. Um, yeah, even split. Let's see what we can do. Alright, a uh, very long video. I'm going to leave the fight here. I'm going to limp back to port. But I'm, I need to use a bit of rum and... Uh, <laughs> get back into ship shape and bring his him back to into port get both ships fixed up and uh, get ready for the next episode
a uh, bit of money, a bit of XP, and uh, let's see, both ships are crude. Luckily, we have a bit of spare in the bank, um, <laughs> thanks to the level. But if you find yourself in this position, where you come out of fight with the captain's ship, and both are reduced to crew, you do need uh, rum in your hold to actually uh, uh, reapply crew and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't have enough crew, you can fill up by using rum. Luckily, I do to my uh, level, so back at it. Long and hard fight, I'll bring her back. Uh, actually, let's see what she got. This was a hard fight, I wanna know what we got out of it. And you should know too. Mahogany Oak, uh, two slot, no port bonuses. Not really a ship worth <laughs> mentioning, but it was a fun fight. And uh, until next time, stay safe. <laughs>